A family is struggling tonight after a series of tragedies, all made more difficult by the coronavirus. News 4 first showed you the exclusive video of a shooting in the Central West End. Another warning for you tonight about it. You may find it disturbing. The victim survived, but his family tells News 4's Lauren Traeger he couldn't be there for his father's funeral and no one can visit him in the hospital. Be on the streets and able to do it to somebody else, to do it to another family. It's, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Teron Anthony's family says they want justice after this shooting in the Central West End Friday caught on video. Police say it was a car accident at Lindell and Sarah that turned into an argument. Anthony was shot five times for his family says in the back. When the guy pulled a gun, you know, he the first thing he thought was his kids was right there. His daughter, his son literally watched it. That's a sight that they'll never forget. Those children dealing with another hardship, wearing masks and waiting in line with other mourners to say goodbye to their grandfather, Anthony's father. He died three weeks ago from kidney failure. They were so close. He did everything for his father. He took care of him to the end, till he drew his last breath. Only a handful were led into the funeral home at one time. This is the best way we could do it to honor our dad. Anthony missing his father's funeral while recovering in the hospital all alone. All this going on, you can't even go see him. You can't sit by him. You can just get what the nurses and the social workers tell us on the phone. That family tonight demanding answers, wanting justice in this case. The shooter was arrested on the scene, but was released the next day without any charges. The police union told us yesterday they think the case is pretty cut and dry, but the circuit attorney's office today sent us a statement saying, quote, while we are sympathetic to the victim as we are to victims in all the cases we handle, this case is still being investigated. We will provide an update once the facts have been determined. Certainly, we will keep asking for answers as well, and we'll update you as soon as we have new information. Reporting live, Lauren Traeger, News 4.